part of the curriculum of our T skills. We have a T skills curriculum, and and I love this. I love this training just for this reason. It, I really, really, really thank Scott Davis for taking time to show me this know, like, and trust. Know, like, and trust. The ladder of success. The higher you go up, John Maxwell said it best. The more visible you become. So don't be nervous about being visible. Don't compare yourself because you're visible. But don't get sidetracked with the conversation that's going on still at the front line and entry level. Um, at the entry level. Because you want to stay focused on where you're going. Again, what was said? Who said it? And how they said it? How it was said? It doesn't matter. Who said it? It doesn't matter. What was said? That's the fact you need to focus on. And if the fact is you were late to work, the good news is this is a shorthand for change. The good news is you can change it. Make it to work on time. If you're late coming back from your break, get back to work on time. It's okay. Change the things that you can change. Change what's in your power to change, what's in your control to change, and get to the place you want to be. Know, like, and trust. It is not about you controlling individuals underneath you. It is not about ruling with the iron fist. It is not about, I'm going to make them comply my way or highway. Because if you're the only car on the highway, it's very lonely. And that's an awful lot of work to get done by yourself. You want to work smarter and not harder. Give the individuals who are new to seeing you in this position time to trust. Give them time to trust. People need time for acceptance. It's a change. You used to be somebody they worked with, their peer, their colleague. Now you're somebody they report to and they haven't seen you in that area. Give them an opportunity to see what you can do. Give them an opportunity to see that you do deserve this position, that you have what it takes. And so know, like, and trust. Let your people know they can trust you. Most of them already like you. Don't give them an opportunity to dislike you. Don't change what you're going to do to try to avoid that. But just don't, don't switch up on them. Don't stop doing what you did to get that position in the beginning. And no, um, you know their work. You know the work ethic. You know what they're able to do. So I encourage them in it. I hope that everyone enjoys their journey on the ladder of success. I hope that when you are frustrated, people do get frustrated. It's going to happen. It happens. It happens. That you're able to take a moment or you have people in your life who can say, hey, is this a deal breaker? If it's not a deal breaker, do not give it deal breaker status. Go um, have, uh, watch a movie, eat some pizza, get a massage, do something, play basketball, do something, but don't let something be a deal breaker if it's not actually a deal breaker. It's your life, it's your choice, uh, you're doing well. These things are tools to help you be more successful. You're already a success, so I don't wanna say in order to be successful, I want to say for continued success, do these things. Uh, that's it. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, well, my name is Sharon. Again, I am with UCDI, You Can Do It Training and Development, and I hope to get to see you guys soon. Thank you.